Don't know about you, but I can feel it in this room. Don't know about you, but I can feel it through and through. grocery haul. I spent $125 at the grocery store and I do live in Hawaii so grocery prices are typically higher just due to the shipping costs of things that get shipped over here but I primarily buy local produce so everything that can be grown here I buy if it's available. So I have local greens and mangoes and lemons and things like that that I get locally. I also prefer just to get non-GMO organic Food. I know plenty of people think that if things are processed, it's the same, but I don't believe that. I think that organic and non-GMO is significantly different than um, if it's not. I like smaller companies. I prefer buying from smaller companies rather than larger companies. So if I see companies I've never seen before, I like to buy them. Wait one second, gotta get their noodles. So I'm somebody that typically likes to get a lot of the same groceries, but sometimes I get super adventurous. But this is just kind of like basic standard for us. First, I'm gonna start with the produce that I got today. So I got just a nice stock of kale. I like to use this for my smoothies as well as add it to salads or just have a kale salad. I also like to cook it and give it to the boys as a side dish. I, I also like to make kale chips as well. We also just got a little head of broccoli um, for the boys. They love broccoli so much, so that's another side thing I really like to do. It's just easy to steam up some broccoli or put it in the oven with sweet potatoes. Another thing I love to do. I like to cube sweet potatoes or wedge them or anything and put them in the oven. Super good. Really just high in a lot of vitamins. I love sweet potatoes, they're amazing. They make me feel great, my boys love them. I even have started giving sweet potatoes to my six month old baby, so steam up some of those for her, blend it up with some breast milk or water, and that's a yummy little baby meal as well. I also got a quarter of a watermelon. It's a bummer because I haven't actually found the seeded watermelons here, so I know that that isn't non-GMO because, isn't that right, that you can't have a non-GMO watermelon that doesn't have seeds? So that's a bummer, but we love watermelon so much, so I had to get it. Um, yeah, that was in the local section, but I just, it's kind of weird that to me that it's um, like that. I also got lemons, love for lemon water. I like to make dressings with lemons as well as just like squeeze them on anything that's good, even on a watermelon, that's delicious. I also just got a couple of mangoes. They're yummy for smoothies or adding on to smoothie bowls on top. Even cereal or granola, just to put some mango on top, or just eat it. Yummy mango, delicious. I also just got some organic Cheerios for the boys. Cereal is just something that's like so easy for a mom. Like, come on, we love to just pull out our cereal. Every kid loves it, and I love to do that. Another thing that I love as a mom is protein bars. So I have been loving these Pro Bar meals. They have sunflower seeds, 
cashew butter and eight sunflower seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds. So that's what helps to make it so filling. Because the seeds and stuff in here, it makes it very like wholesome and filling. Also for four smoothie bowls, I have never seen this at the store, but I saw this dragon fruit pitaya, just like basically what you use for an acai bowl, those packets, but in dragon fruit. So I'm so excited to have a hot pink smoothie bowl. I kind of want to add some blue spirulina and make like a cotton candy looking thing. Ooh, that'd be so good. And I had to get the boys some dino eggs. I am so sorry this is in plastic. Sometimes on um, our plant-based grocery shops, people like to comment about the plastic use and stuff like that. I'm using reusable bags for all my groceries, but I, I really would like if you could leave recommendations down below for what you use for your produce at the grocery store, or also like in the bulk section, what, you, what kind of bags you use to get your food in the bulk section, because I'm gonna have to look on Amazon. So yeah, I also got a big bag of organic potatoes because we like potatoes over here. We make potatoes a lot. I just love to put them in the oven with seasonings and make them, it's so good. Uh, I also, I make a lot of like quinoa, wild rice, stuff like that. And these are just really like, sometimes I just like to pick up one of these pre-flavored ones. Um, yeah, it's like not, Definitely not the best, but if you want something flavorful and super quick, it's ready in five minutes. So, couscous, you know. <laughs> I also got these for Naya. So, Naya does like to eat, like, meat more than we do. Like, I don't... I'm not into it like he is. Like, these, so they're antibiotic-free at least. Oh, gosh. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a chicken tikka masala, and it's organic. And um, with basmati rice, no antibiotics ever. Not the worst thing you can get as far as frozen meals and it's nice for him because he works He leaves at 5 a.m. And he gets back at 5 p.m. So if he just wants to like whip something up really quick Oh, I also got these I've never seen these before so it's acai But they're acai bites and they're covered in dark chocolate. So I'm so excited to try these They look amazing. I also have never seen these chocolate chip cookies, but they're vegan and gluten-free So I thought I'd pick them up and try them they look delicious. I also Yay! have limes, but I don't Hi, know where Jumpy. they are. Hi, Jumpy. Um, these are my favorite crackers, Mary's crackers. I got the onion flavor today. Um, super good, just like how they have it on the back with like some cucumber and avocado. Or I love to make homemade hummus with some canned garbanzo beans, and I just blend that in my blender. A little bit of lemon and garlic and chili powder. So good to these in. <laughs> I also got these cookies, the Enjoy Life ones, because we really like these. I picked up a couple of soups as well. I got this Yummy. summer corn vegetable, and I also got a tomato one, but I don't know where it was. I guess I put it away. I kind of weirded out. This is Ancient Harvest Super Grain Rainbow Pasta. So um, it's made out of corn and quinoa. It's just like, it's more of a complex carb than just your simple noodle that you would cook. So that's why I feel better about making these kinds of noodles if I'm just making noodles. I've never seen this flavor of Amy's. So it's just like a vegetarian barbecue chicken pizza. Thought I would try that. This one, I think this is real cheese. I just got one more cheese one. Those are just quick, easy. These groceries were about $125. I know that's a lot. It'll probably last us It'll last us like more than a week mixed with our frozen fruits, lentils, beans, rice, things that we have on hand already that we keep in bulk, seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, we all have all these things in our pantry in bulk so we always, we can use them and we don't have to repurchase it often. So these are just like our additive things, things that we just like, like to snack on, like to add to stuff. Woo! So that was pretty much our grocery haul. Yeah, Code. <laughs> the boys call these dino eggs, but they're just yogurt covered almonds. Obviously we're not perfect eaters, but this is just a general idea of things that we do like to eat as primarily plant-based eaters um, and snacks that I like to feed the kids and things that I like to make. Pretty simple, pretty easy. All the meals that I can make from this will like can be made in under like 20 minutes, you know what I mean? So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I realistically shop for. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. So wait, before I end this vlog, I am going to give you a little update on Coda because you know, yesterday we went to the doctor and everything like that for the bumps that he had. 
I do just want to say that, so what we thought it was, it wasn't ever confirmed that it was in Pitaigo or, or that it is in Pitaigo, um, like we thought it was. But I just want to say that um, people go to school with it. As long as you cover your sores, there's there's no way to pass it on. When I thought they were just mosquito bites, uh, Koda and Kikai were taking baths together and nobody got it. Um, I've touched them and I haven't gotten any. But there were just like a few people that were concerned that I brought him to the park. It's not... Uh, it's not like I have to, like, put him in a bubble and stay at home because of the bumps on his leg. Kind of one of those things, it's like you cover it and you keep moving. You cover it, you take your precautions, and you keep moving. So, uh, those bumps are doing well. They're just under their, they're under the band-aid. And all is well with that. Coda's feeling a lot better today. It's only spread through direct contact and the direct contact that he has even had with his family members has not been passed on, just so you know. Covered, and we're gonna live our life, so yeah. You had a dino egg? Yeah. A dino egg. A dino egg. Yum. <laughs> Yummy? Baby dino egg. Baby dino egg. Have I? Get it, get it, get it. But that's where we're gonna end today's vlog. So I hope you liked the grocery haul and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Or night. Bye.